In this video, we are going to look at alkynes. The previous video we had a look at alkenes. If you haven't checked it out, please do so because it will help you understand alkynes better. So when you look at alkynes, just like the alkenes and alkenes, alkynes fall under a group known as the hydrocarbons. And with this group, we said it mainly contains carbon and hydrogen atoms only. So don't expect to see any other atoms except carbon and hydrogen. However, they they are also unsaturated just like the alkenes, meaning that they can take up more atoms without removal of other atoms. So because of the triple bond, as we are going to see today, these alkynes will be considered unsaturated. So we also have a general formula for the alkynes. It's known as or written as Cn h2n minus 2 so alkynes are two hydrogen atoms less compared to the alkenes however just like the alkenes the value of n will always start from 2 we don't have n is equal to 1 it is not viable or it's not possible so n is equal to 1 cannot exist because we must have a triple bond at least between two carbon atoms so you can't have a triple bond when you have only one carbon atom when you look at these alkynes just like the alkenes and alkenes they also have a unique name ending that is only unique to them so when you look at these alkynes they'll have a name ending of y n e so all alkynes will have this name ending or they will end with y n e as we are going to see when we move forward concerning these alkynes so let's try out and see the first alkyne where the n value is equal to 2 before we look at n is equal to 2, we should also try to re-emphasize the triple bond. Remember I said alkynes will have a triple bond and this will be the functional group. Once you have a compound that contains a triple bond between carbon atoms, it will always be an alkyne. So all alkynes will have a triple bond between at least two carbon atoms. So we shall have a compound like this as we shall see it later on so this triple bond here in the center is what makes alkynes unique so all of them will have those three dashes remember each dash represents a single covalent bond so this is a single covalent bond whereby we have sharing of two electrons now in triple bond it will mean that we have three pairs of electrons being shared in this triple covalent bond three pairs of electrons so all alkynes will be having that triple bond and because of this triple bond alkynes are much more reactive than alkenes just like alkenes we are much more reactive than the alkenes so the alkynes with triple bonds they are much more reactive than the alkenes that had a double bond while also the alkenes were much more reactive than the alkenes that had only single bonds between carbon and carbon. So now let's go and look at n is equal to 2. So for n is equal to 2, we shall have to substitute into our general formula for the alkynes, which is Cn H2n minus 2. So if our value of n is equal to 2, we shall have C2 H2 times 2, which is 4, minus 2, which is 2. So our first alkyne will become C2, let's write it here first, C2H2. So this is C2H2 and this is the molecular formula for our first alkyne. When you look at the displayed formula, this will be our displayed, displayed structural formula or displayed formula for our alkyne whose value of n is equal to 2 as you can see we have carbon atom number one and carbon atom number two representing these two here as well as we have our two hydrogen atoms like we have said the triple bond always makes these alkenes unique without this triple bond in the center here we shall not claim this compound to be an alkene but since it has this triple bond it has three dashes one two three it makes it an alkyne 
So when you look at the condensed structural formula of this alkyne, it will be H C triple bond C H. So we only show the triple bonds because we need to know where they are placed. That's why here in our structural or condensed structural formula, we have our triple bond present. So we have our condensed structural formula so molecular formula C2H2 displayed formula is H C triple bond C hydrogen this one here while our condensed structural formula will be this one so basically when you are to look at the alkynes we shall also name them just like we are naming other hydrocarbons while following the prefix for n is equal to 2. So the prefix for n is equal to 2 is eth. If the prefix is eth and then the name ending for all alkynes ends with y n e, that's why we have our ethyne. So this compound here or this molecule here is known as ethyne, the first alkyne compound let's look at n is equal to 3 we have seen n is equal to 2 is ethyne n is equal to 3 at least we shall know that the prefix that we shall use will be prop so for n is equal to 3 we shall still substitute in our general formula cn h2n minus 2 so we shall have c3 h2 times 3 which is 6 minus 2 which is 4 so we shall have c3 H4. And when you are to look at the displayed structural formula, it will be as follows. We have our carbon atom number one, number two, number three. So C3, we all have the three carbon atoms. So we also have our triple bond between carbon atom number one and carbon atom number three, which will make this an alkyne. Just like we said, all alkynes contain at least one double, one single triple bond so when you look at the naming for n value is equal to 3 we shall have prop while we shall always end with yne so the compound will be called propyne however for the condensed structural formula we shall have it as ch triple bond we shall have our c then ch3 however you can also write it as hc to show that the triple bond is between carbon and carbon CH3 so this can be our condensed structural formula for propyne so condensed structural formula so as simple as this when you look at all hydrocarbons if at all you know the general formula that you will use just substitute for the value of N and then be sure that if for alkynes, for alkenes we have a single bond, alkenes, double bond, and alkynes, triple bond. Let's look at for n value is equal to 4. So for n is equal to 4, feel free to pause the video as I give you a couple of seconds to be able to write the molecular formula and the displayed structural formula for the alkyne whose value of n is equal to 4. So still we have our general formula CN H2N minus 2. When you substitute for N is equal to 4, you'll obtain C4. H2 times 4 is 8. 8 minus 2 is 6. So this will be our molecular formula. So when you look at the displayed formula, it will be as follows. Where we have a triple bond between carbon atom 1 and carbon atom 2. However, this triple bond can also be between carbon atom 2 and carbon atom 3. But for simplicity, we shall stick to this one case. So, for all hydrocarbons whose n value is equal to 4, we shall give them the prefix but. As such, the name for this alkyne will have to become butyne because the name ending will also have to be yne. So, this compound is known as butyne. However, when you look at the structural or condensed structural formula, we can write it as HC 
triple bond then we have our carbon atom carbon atom 3 has two hydrogen atoms so we shall write ch2 and then the the last one carbon atom 4 will have three hydrogen atoms so we shall write it as ch3 and this will be our condensed structural formula for butane lastly we are, i'm going to leave you with a question and try to find the solution for it so the question states that what name is given to the alkyne whose value of n is equal to 6 so for n is equal to 6 what name do you think is given to this alkyne remember if if you were with us from the start when you looked at the introduction of hydrocarbons we saw the prefix that can be used for hydrocarbons whose values of n start from 5, 6, 7 up to 10. Okay, stay safe and see you next time.